Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, is one of our favorite places to visit. However, this time, we're trying something different. Instead of booking a Marriott room, we booked our stay at the Viceroy Hotel. It had great reviews and just really looked like a cool boutique modern property. These properties are in many popular destinations around the world and each one is a reflection of the local culture. So, we are at the Viceroy. The Viceroy, DC. And for a downtown Washington, DC hotel, this is actually a very, very spacious room. Very pleased with that. This was an upgraded room. We got upgraded through our American Express Platinum card, which this hotel is, is part of the hotel group that it's associated with, so that was awesome. We're gonna be here for three nights. And the cool thing is, the pool is opening this weekend mm -hmm. for the season. So they have a rooftop pool with a bar and some other restaurant areas here on property. So we'll take you through all those and show you, but so far so good. And uh, yeah, the location isn't too bad. You're, you're a little bit of ways away off the mall, but all in all, you know, a quick Uber or if, you, if it's nice out, you can walk. I you know, maybe a 15 minute walk to the main, you know, Chinatown and stuff like that. I know also that this Sunflower. Oh boy. They have a fridge. You know me with my fridge. And we even brought some waters and Gatorade, so perfect. A nice space here. Yeah, not bad room. A really nice desk here to work. I actually have some work I have to do while we're here, so this is a great space for it and a nice size TV. And check this out, they got like a little Google pad thing. Touch the screen and you know, pretty cool. Interactive pad here, right by the the bed. And if you want to get a workout in during your stay here, the gym is super nice. This is where you get breakfast, mm -hmm. right here. Exactly, the weekends open later, it's a wine bar. It's a wine bar too, not a breakfast bar. Oh wow. Really cool. So this is like outdoor bar, restaurant. Pretty neat. All right, so we're all checked into the hotel. We're walking down to the mall to get boba tea. Boba tea. They have tons of food trucks here at the mall. It's kind of a staple thing here in DC, but really good boba tea. Boba tea. Yeah. Strawberry. Strawberry banana smoothie bubble tea. You can try yours. Yeah, they're both good. Mine's just. I'm gonna try mine. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Rick's bubble tea, bubble tea, boba tea, whatever you want to call it. Going down pretty good. Yeah. Must is. like it. Yeah. Nice to sit here with a view. Well, it's a new day in 
in DC. We're gonna get out of the botanical gardens to look around. It's a nice little walk, mm -hmm. kind of a long walk from the hotel. But we always like going there. It's uh, it's free, and uh, they do a nice job in there. So let's head over there. So we got to the botanical garden after about a 48 minute walk. Yeah, pretty, far. <laughs> pretty far. You might want to Uber it or take a metro. But this is the oldest operating botanical garden in the United States from, I believe, 1820. And uh, it was George Washington's idea to put in a botanical garden in DC. So it took a little while. Here it is. Hello. Oh, it feels like a jungle in here. Huh? So this is the, the tropics. I know this room gets a little warm. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tropical rainforest. After spending some time in the gardens, all of the walking was making us extremely hungry, so we decided to trek over to one of our favorite restaurants in DC, Jose Andres' Haleo. Be sure to check out that video of ours if you haven't seen it already, it's on our channel. Okay, so we got a dinner reservation tonight at Kinship, which is a one Michelin star restaurant, restaurant that Rachel found, Yes, and I'm pretty excited about it. It has great reviews, it's kind of smart casual, nothing super fancy, and I heard they have fantastic food. Typically when you go to a Michelin star restaurant, a chicken dish isn't something you think of ordering, but in this case, you do. Well, that looks good, don't it? <laughs> Definitely looks bigger in the picture than it is, but there's a decent amount of lobster on that. Is that the, uh, the lobster, lobster French toast? Lobster French toast. What'd you think? It was great. It was, it was good, experience. wasn't it? Yeah. What was your favorite thing? Um, probably the chicken. Chicken? Yeah. How about you? Yeah, chicken was good. It was really good. I think dessert was good too. Everything was really good. Just waiting for our Uber. All right, good morning. It's a beautiful morning. morning here in DC. And before we go on the rooftop pole and lounge out here at the hotel for the day, we're gonna go to the zoo. zoo yeah. See some animals. Yeah, there's pandas. Yeah, you wanna see the pandas? Yeah. Uh-huh. Rich wants to see the pandas. Let's go do that.
Heading to the zoo. Heading to the zoo. Beautiful day out. Oh, it's perfect. Should have a nice day today for the pool as well. Yeah, it's not as humid either. Uh-uh. So traditionally, it's just you would just walk in here. It's free. It's still free. It's still free. You just have to make a reservation. Yeah, you just have to make a reservation online. So make sure you do that. There's plenty of cool animals to see here, but by far the most popular attraction is the pandas. Starting off with the pandas first. Well, there might be some other things here. Do you want to come down here? No. no. <laughs> Maybe the, sun, the sun's out. Okay. Yeah. Mm, there's no elephants. A lot of food. A lot of food. Oh, it's stinky, huh? Yeah. Amazon rainforest. Feels like a rainforest, yeah. doesn't it? It's like we're back in the botanical garden. Yeah. No. The aviary. There are birds in here. Head into the pool, 10th floor. All the chairs are taken. Luckily this section opened up shortly afterwards and we got to relax, catch some rays, and grab a bite to eat before heading to the wharf. For quite a long time, the wharf was really just known as a place to come down and enjoy a marketplace where you can buy fish, cold, warm, anything you can think of that involves seafood. But now, today, it is so much more. Today, the Wharf is a popular destination here in DC for restaurants, bars, shopping, anything that you can think of that involves entertainment, it's here. And this was our first time here, and I gotta say, 
will definitely be coming back. Well, we're just about to check out today from the Viceroy DC. We had a great time here, but before we go, we're gonna go grab some brunch. DC is a really great brunch spot on Saturdays and Sundays, and today's a Sunday. So we're gonna go do that. We got about a nine minute walk to our brunch spot, which Rach found. What's it called? The um, Tappered Inn. Tappered Inn? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I made it last minute, so. Ta Tabard Inn. Tabard Inn, okay. So that's where we're gonna go. And just get done packing, cleaning up, so when we get back, we're ready to roll. This place is over 100 years old, and in addition to being a boutique hotel, it actually serves up some pretty good fare. Yeah. Looks good, huh? Mm -hmm. 